What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another review. This time, we're going to take a look at the underrated superhero comedy known as Mystery Men. I love this movie. I remember watching this movie in theaters back in 1999 when it first came out. I own the VHS. This is one of the early, my earliest Ben Stiller movies. And yeah, I just think Mystery Men is an underrated gem of a movie. I think this movie is both funny and it is just really well made. For And it's really well made. Uh, the plot of this movie is this. Ben Stiller, William H. Macy, and Hank Azaria are these three friends who are superheroes in Champion City, and they're pretty much like the underdogs, because Champion City has this supreme superhero, Captain Amazing, who is pretty much the Superman type of hero in this universe, while Ben Stiller and his ragtag trio are the other guys. But one day, Casanova Frankenstein gets released by from prison and he kidnaps <laughs> Captain Amazing and now Ben's and now Mr. Furious the Blue Raja and the Shoveler gotta recruit a team to try and save Captain Amazing and save the city from Casanova Frankenstein that's pretty much the overall bare bones plot of this movie now let's actually talk about the movie itself first off the cast in this movie is spot on Ben Stiller as Mr. Furious is great it's refreshing to see Ben Stiller play a role where he's not this neurotic guy who is just nervous about everything. He plays Mr. Furious, who is a guy who is courageous, but also can, but can also have moments of self-doubt. William H. Macy as the shoveler, he is great. He's pretty much that grounded voice of reason type of character. And the Blue Raja is, and Hank Azaria as the Blue Raja, I like his character too. He's the, he's like the shoveler in a way, though he's not really a voice of reason. He's more like the tag along type of guy, but he's funny in his own way. And of course, you have Cal Mitchell, you got Tom Waits, you got Wes Studi, Janine Garofalo, and you got Paul Rubens who fill out the rest of the superhero of this ragtag team, and they're all great in their roles. Tom Waits plays this weapons designer known as Heller, and he's great. Uh, Janine Garofalo as the bowler, she's very entertaining. Wes Studi plays the Sphinx. He's pretty much like the Batman version. He's pretty much this movie's version of Batman in a way. But he also has a little bit of Yoda going on in him. Where he spouts out this mumbo jumbo stuff. But it's hilarious and it's fun too. Uh, Cal Mitchell's like the invisible boy. And he his gimmick is that he's invisible. But he can only be invisible when no one's looking at him. It's hilarious. And, this, and uh, Paul Rubens plays the spleen. Who's superpower is that he can fart is that his farts kill you or just yeah his superpower is flatulence and this movie actually did a creative job at taking bodily function humor and actually making it funny and not cringe because it's a it, they made it into a superpower which is hilarious and retarded I'm sorry and ridiculous and it made it work it's great and like I said these cast members, they all have a good chemistry with one another. I really like the chemistry with all these, with all these, with all these, with all these, with these actors. Ben Stiller and Macy, you can tell that they're playing two guys who are very, very, very close friends, along with the character of uh, the Blue Raja, Hank Azaria. They, they, the three of them mesh really well together, and when the others get included in, into the trio, they all have a good dynamic, and I like that a lot. Uh, Greg, Greg Kinnear plays Captain Amazing, and he's just, he plays a good job at playing a self-absorbed Superman type of hero and he does great in the role I like I like him as well he has a cocky charisma to him it's great uh, Jeffrey Rush as Casanova Frankenstein he is just hamming it up and it's goofy and you can clearly tell the man is enjoying the role he is fantastic as Casanova Frankenstein I love him in this movie and I like how he has his underlings known as the Disco Boys with one of them being played by Eddie, Eddie Izzard who I actually like how Eddie Izzard's character is connected to the Bowler character because it's established, because it's revealed that Eddie Izzard's character killed the Bowler's father, which which encouraged her to pick up his mantle, to pick up her father's mantle as a hero. So I like how there's a little personal connection going on there. But Eddie Izzard as Tony P, he's hilarious as well. He's got a lot of really funny lines like, Kill you later, super losers. It's, it's funny stuff. It's hilarious. And that's another thing I like about this movie. This movie has got some good comedy in it. All these actors, they're all they're playing it totally straight, and that's where the fun comes in. That's where the comedy is. The gags in this movie, they work for me, and I like them a lot. Um, if I do have some criticism to it, uh, this movie tries to establish a love interest with Mr. Furious and a waitress, and to me, it's really underdeveloped and really undercooked. 
mainly because Ben Stiller and the wait, mainly because Furious and the actress and the waitress, they don't have a lot of screen time for me, for that for me to really invest in, to really invest into this romance, particularly especially near the end where she just get where she just get where she gets kidnapped by Casanova Frankenstein, as pretty much as as a way for Furious to uh, get over his uh, self doubt in a way. I would have liked it if they had a little bit more scenes peppered all throughout this movie with their relationship being established. Instead, the relationship kind of gets established near the midway point of the movie, and it feels kind of rushed. And I don't really think still uh, the relationship had any chance had a chance to breathe or blossom. And that, to me, that's a weak point. I didn't really care for it, and I and I don't like it at all. <clears throat> nothing against the actress, nothing against Ben Stiller. They're both trying, but it's just very underwritten character. It could been it could been done so much better. Uh, the production value in this movie this movie is shot really really well. The practical effects look great, but the CGI have clearly not aged well, and they look kind of goofy. They look kind of cheesy, and it could be distracting in some areas. Yes, yeah, sure, but the directing is solid enough. The cinematography is good. The action sequences <laughs> in this movie are really well directed because they're very, they're very uh, comedy based and it works. And that's where a lot of the gags come in, like the opening scene where Ben Stiller and the trio are taking on the Red Eyes in, the, in a nursing home. <laughs> that's hilarious stuff. And then you get the big climax where Casanova Frankenstein and his uh, Legion of Doom, <laughs> if you will, take on uh, the Mystery Men. And it's just, just a romp. It's just fun. That's what this movie is. This movie is just fun. It's a fun watch. This is not the greatest superhero comedy movie ever made, but like I said, it is the most underrated superhero comedy movie ever made. This movie's got funny gags. It's got a great cast. All the actors mesh well off one another. Um, another thing that I have a gripe with before I wrap it up. So, as I said before, the Captain Amazing character is the Superman in this universe. And the Sphinx character to me is like the Batman of this universe. And I kind of wish that Captain Amazing and the Sphinx would have had a little bit of meetup to see how their philosophies would have worked. The Sphinx, like I said, has that Yoda type of feel, has that has that Yoda mentor feel to him, while Captain Amazing has that self-absorbed, arrogant feel to him. I would have liked to have seen how these two personalities would have clashed before the Mystery Men killed him by accident when he's strapped to this fraculator, which destroys your mind it makes reality go makes you go all haywire and turns you inside out and makes you look like uh, fried chicken it's 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 ridiculous over the top but it works <laughs> it's it's great yeah in case you haven't noticed i love mystery men i think this movie is a solid eight out of ten yeah i got some issues with it but this movie's got so much good things that i can't give it any, i can't give it any higher than an eight and i can't go lower than an eight because i love this movie too much anyway those are my thoughts on Mystery Men. Let me know yours in the comment sections down below. Like the video and subscribe, and I'll check you back next time for more.